Hey guys. Um, so I was going to make a gaming video today. I mean, not a gaming video. I've been mastering video today, but but due to the recent shooting that happened in New Zealand, I'm going to talk about that. So yeah, I I just get here with all the information. So. I just excuse me and the and the background music that that's playing it's just my brother playing around with his um new mixes so so this is what I know. Forty nine forty nine people have been killed and forty eight have been injured when a gunman opened fire at two mosques. Now now the gunman whose name is Brent Tarrant, who's age forty eight appeared briefly in court today in New Zealand. Um, well, charged with murder. Christchurch in New Zealand was put in, in lockdown, and the gov and the government, and sorry, and the gunman, sorry, who was who is an Australian citizen, live streamed the attack on the, the first mosque on Facebook, and that video went for 17 minutes. He drove down a lane way, pulls up outside the front of the Al Noor Mosque, or however you say it, and inside the vehicle were a number of weapons and petrol bombs. There were messages on his weapons. He stepped out of the car and opens fire. The people took to social media showing their shock and grief in New Zealand. Three people were arrested in relation to this incident. Before the shooter unleashed all that terror, at the very beginning of the video he says, let's get this party started. After the shooting, he emerges outside of the mosque and says, that that did not go to plan. I should have stayed longer. There was time for fuel. I would have liked to burn the mosque to the ground. At the end of the video, he, turn, he returns to the car and sped away before police arrived. So he had the, so he had the time to go, to go to the second mosque, which wasn't far away. The shooting sent shockwaves to around, to Australia and around the world, and this is how he was he was apprehended. A police car rammed into his his Subaru, and then and then he was arrested. And and, and leaders showed their support for Christchurch and New Zealand. There were hints of New Zealand toughening their gun laws in past years. And now, after this incident, the Prime Minister of New Zealand said, now's the time. The first hint was in 2005, then 2012, and after an inquiry in 2017. And now, now it's time for change, the Prime Minister said. New Zealand police remain on high alert. The Christchurch residents are and were urged to stay at home if possible and stay safe. Now, um... Now this is all this this is all I know, but um, this only happened just yesterday, so I don't know much information. It was on the news. I tried to get as much information as I could from the internet and the radio and the, and the TV. So yeah, I've missed out on a few other details, but yeah, like yeah, peace out.